Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my videos. Today's video is going to be on the WPL D12 work truck and uh, the mods I made to mine. So this is a stock version of the truck uh, with, I believe this is a 260 motor, just rear wheel drive, has the uh, spare uh, rear tire on the bottom and the battery uh, tray uh, or compartment. And this right here is my upgraded street version with the body kit as you may have seen um, body kit you do have to install it's pretty easy to do uh, just a couple screws um, you see right here you screw the uh, exhaust plate on there you have one right here one right here and then another here and here um, and then the ones in the back um, but pretty easy to come together the only thing is you cannot fit the spare tire in there um, so what I do is I just leave it in the cab um, but yeah spare tire no longer fits in there and since we're on the bottom you can see the biggest mod done to this is the brushless 3650 3900 KV um, now the key um, thing to this modification that I did was I did not go with the 3d uh, printed mount as uh, I think most people are going with um, number one I didn't have a 3d printer and number two I didn't want to pay a bunch of money for the 3d printed parts so I actually had this bracket which I'll get into more details about soon um, but I do need to make some adjustments to this, so I wanted to take it apart and show you um, basically what I did to this. Um, and to show you how I tucked everything in. So let's get right to it. Um, the cool thing about this, which I was happy about, is that I was able to keep this stock motor cover uh, or the bottom cover. And I was also able to retain the uh, front suspension, which it's very simple, but I'm actually a big fan about of, and I'll show you. But we do get this cover, which is nice because it protects the servo arm on the bottom. And uh, here is the suspension link that uh, we'll get into, but. First off, well, we need to disassemble the, or take the body off the frame, which is very simple to do. One, two, three, four, for the, uh, to take the bed off and then two screws and a clip to take the front off. Okay, now that's the body's loose, but because of my mods, I need to flip it around and take these two screws out. Probably not the cleanest motor swap, but it works it's, and it's pretty solid. And again, if you don't have a 3D printer, this is a very good alternative. So, take this off now. There you go. You can see my electronics on the bottom. Gotta make sure not to lose these screws. So, well, let me think about how to go about this. But anyways, this is the stock uh, frame. I did have to cut out this section to get the motor to fit. My original plan was actually to go with a uh, 550 brushed motor but it actually was too long and I did not want to compromise the cab 
the back of the cab or the uh, front suspension linkage until I planned out some shocks. But you can see the, the front suspension is just this little spring rod that goes around and then hooks up to the upper arms. And I think it works pretty well actually. Um, so I didn't want to cut past this. Um, and I didn't have to, which is why I ended up going with the uh, uh, 3650 uh, brushless because they're shorter um, with not having the electronics or the prongs coming out of the back of the motor. So it was the perfect fit. Now the key piece to this upgrade was this bracket you see right here. And uh, this bracket is actually from the WL Toys A series, the A959969979. And this is the bracket for the 540, 550 motor. It does matter because of the motor mount spacing. Oh yeah, let me take this out of the way. Um, so that is a key difference. And actually my other motor of choice. So first off I planned on the 550, um, but it was too long. And something I realized was that it's a really heavy motor, especially for something like this plastic chassis, you know, nothing really heavy duty on this at the, at the moment or in stock form. Um, so I actually thought a 390 would be a pretty sweet motor for this setup or a smaller brushless like a 2845, which I do have and wanted to go with, but I did not have the 390 motor bracket on hand to do that swap. So that's something I might go back uh, and do later or I'll do it on the um, work truck. But anyways, this one did get the 3650. So WL Toys A-Series motor bracket. It comes in the 540 um, configuration or the 390 configuration. Um, you can also get generic motor brackets, which are probably better. Um, this is what I had on hand, but it only has these four mounting points uh, in this configuration. You can get an aftermarket one where they have one on each corner, which I think it's a lot better, uh, a lot more stable. But anyways, here's a shot at the electronics. Um, I am going to mount this onto the passenger seat, my ESC. So I have all the routing pulled up through the center of the cab uh, right here. Did a little cut, very easy to do, and routed it in there. Um, but I need to go ahead and mount that. So uh, this is really easy to pull. Um, you just take these two tabs pull them through and then the cab comes upward and it slides out from the back because there's another tab to watch for these two on the front end so it goes front end first and then down and then when you're taking it out the back comes up first and then out um, so with my current setup, I haven't swapped the connector yet, so I'm not, I don't have function of my front lights. That's something to note. But basically, this ESC will just be mounted out down right here. And then I will probably just run the battery uh, right here with a Velcro or a sticky. Um, but power connector will go through the rear window like my FY08. But I think this is pretty clean and pretty cool so uh, now the the update I needed to make was my motor was sitting too far up causing um, a little bit too much flex on the drive shaft so what I'm gonna do is add a spacer to drop the motor down just a little bit more down to the frame level which should line up the drive shaft a little bit more uh, I'm also gonna stick some washers in the bottom of the cab to uh, make this a little bit more secure because technically the motor is now mounted on the uh, truck bed not the frame so I don't know if you consider that a drawback on this mod considering the truck beds mounted onto the frame but um, that is a difference between the 3d printed uh, uh, motor mount and also one other key is I do plan on putting uh, 110 uh, touring car tires on here so you do need to basically lift the the cab or the body 
to create clearance. So what I did was I actually flipped the suspension uh, springs over. They used to be on the bottom side of the axle and now I have them on the top side of the axle. Um, so that was another update I made to get that lift before I do figure out a um, shock uh, mod. But anyways, you can see in this shot, the mount and the springs are below the axle. And now they're above the axle. Which I'll probably do this mod to the off-road truck or the uh, work truck to give it an off-road uh, look and feel to it. But it does have a stance now, as you can see. So with the weight of the motor, and that was also another reason why you got to do this mod. Because the weight of the updated motor definitely creates too much of a sag to where these are dipping and uh, almost rubbing on that truck bed. So I'll get it uh, slapped together again and show you the final project or product um, but stay tuned hey guys so I got this thing buttoned up after the adjustments I made uh, <laughs> but when testing it the uh, drive shaft just completely disintegrated uh, I wish I got that on camera but I didn't um, it is running direct drive to the rear axle um, so I'm gonna have to figure out a new solution for this um, but it's pretty crazy I have to say that um, so I hope to get it finished up soon um, there's the cap I leave it a little bit pushed down because I don't want the uh, complete stress of the motor pushing but it is buttoned up you can see my electronics kind of tucked away a little bit more clean there's the uh, on off switch and then the ESC sitting on the passenger side. For now, I just have the battery floating. Um, but I'm super excited to figure out a solution on the drive shaft because I think this thing is going to be pretty crazy. I have no idea how to handle though. Um, but I do have a gyro installed on it. So maybe. Uh, this will just be uh, converted to a drift setup once I get the 110s in there. But you can see, got the steering, got the gyro going. And then there's the motor running. I know, uh, no action right now, but yeah, that, that drive shaft just blew apart. I'm glad it didn't hit me in the eye, <laughs> but super excited. Check that out. Thanks for watching.